Stephen was born on the 11th of July 1996. Stephen has um, a long-term illness. He has been attending Crumlin since he was a baby. He has had surgeries every year since. He's 13 now. I've known Stephen for the last uh, four or five years. He's been coming to our ladies' ward in and out for different treatments and operations. Yeah, I've been going in there since I was a baby. And I just, it's really like my home now. I, it's, it's brilliant. He's always been a very strong, resilient young man and has always come through his treatment with a smile on his face and with his mum by his side, um, both working so hard together to get him through each phase of his treatment. He's been in lots of the wards in the hospital. Um, he's got to know all the staff, you know, right from the canteen, all the nurses, all the doctors. And, you know, even that's the lady in the shop knows him when he comes in. Me and Crumlin Hospital have been like a family. Uh, they've done loads for me and they've and like when I was down, they brought me back up. And I know if there's anything you know wrong at home, that we we can, you know, just make that phone call and that they're there first. He is always a happy little chap and always makes friends with all the nurses and has created a good strong bond with everybody here. They're a very inspirational family, Valerie and Stephen. Sometimes I feel frightened and sometimes I feel scared, but when my mom's there, it's it's okay. You know, you know, he's gone through, he's never complained once, even when in hospital, the nurses, like he never complains, no matter what he goes through. And he's had some tough times. When uh, Stephen was two years old, we had, an, we had a little girl, Sarah, um, who also had um, medical problems. Sarah um, had open heart surgery when she was ten and a half months and sadly, passed away in MR Ladies in the intensive care unit. But even when we went back in after Sarah died, Stephen still needed more surgeries, but the, the support we got was, can't, <laughs> um, you know, it was just amazing. They were always there for us. And, you know, still to this day, they remember Sarah. Every time Stephen goes in, they don't forget that, you know. It's fantastic to see him when he does get discharged after um, a certain procedure, but we know we probably have to come back in again at another stage. But it's a great um, stepping stone for him to get through that phase of his treatment and that he had such a good positive experience in that time that he was in hospital. That he doesn't um, fret coming back into hospital again, he knows he's coming back into his second family, that she knows the routine and knows all the staff so well. He's like a little mini doctor the way he goes around and the way he gets on well with so many other um, the doctors and the nurses. And um, he's got a very special bond with Mr. Quinn, his surgeon that has done all these operations throughout his time here. He's brilliant. He, he always comforts me when I'm on the, or, or getting ready for an operation. And he, helps, and he helps me that way. My husband passed away three years ago, which was tough on Stephen especially when he needed to go back in after his dad died for surgery. He found this, you know, extremely um, difficult because, you know, he actually thought he would die too and that was it. But the staff were, you know, supported him and sent him for counselling and all before surgery to make sure that he was, you know, in the right frame of mind. I started fundraising when my dad died a few years ago. And, you know, it was his way of dealing with, you know, his dad's. Um, debt. Yeah, I won a bike, a new bike, and I said to myself I would raffle it for Crumlin Children's Hospital. So I raffled it and I raised some more money and I gave it to the hospital. He's such a little kind-hearted child that any little thing that he has he'll share as much as he can with everybody else. Crumlin have always been there for me and I feel like I have to like give something to them in return. Stephen has had other kids that have go, are going through the same treatment that he has gone through in the past so he can relate to them and tell them his feelings and what he went through. Money that has been fundraised um, for Our Lady's Ward and for, for throughout the hospital is much appreciated and um, the stuff that Stephen has fundraised for has really changed what we can do on the ward and um, so any donations um, and fundraising that is done by anybody is so much appreciated. Here at Oatlands College we're so proud of Stephen and his achievements and we look forward to supporting him as he goes forward to raise funds for Crumlin Children's Hospital. We wish him every success and the hospital every success in the future.